Hello everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching the 21 October Giga Texas update video. Can you believe that it's now been three months since the start of construction? Amazing. I would like to thank Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial and all of my patrons for your outstanding support to make these videos possible. I did a one month comparison between Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin, and Giga Texas in August. And now that it's been three months, I thought I would update that and let's do a a review and see where each of the factories were at approximately the same time in their construction process. As a quick review, let's look at the size of the construction. Giga Shanghai has a total area about 213 acres, but phase one is about 100 acres, and it was about $652,000 per acre for costs to Tesla. Giga Berlin had about 740 acres, but their phase one construction site's about 220 acres, and their cost per acre is approximately $65,000 per acre. Giga Texas, the total land area with the additional land purchase is about 2,518 2, acres, uh, but the phase one is about 280 acres. However, we believe phase two portions may already be underway because it looks like there's at least another 100 acres being worked on. And it's about $98,000 per acre if you look at the latest land purchase agreement. Taking a look at Giga Shanghai at the three-month point, what we see is there was quite a bit of pile drivers putting in uh, piles to stabilize the soil across the entire site. There was significant amount of machinery and even concrete work that was going on at that time. And as you can see, the foundation proper was starting to really emerge at that point. If we compare with Giga Berlin at the three-month point, essentially they had finished clearing most of the trees and leveled the land, but not really any significant construction on the foundation or any other structures had begun at that point in time. If you can see in the pictures in the southwest corner, there was some land clearing and preparation for that construction, but really at this point, uh, it had not really begun. With Giga Texas at this point, they had taken a old sand and gravel mine and they had leveled it out, removed the ponds, removed all the hills, and they've got the main foundation area pretty much leveled out. And as you can see, it's uh, very apparent where that foundation will be. In addition to that, they've had a lot of the footers that are beginning uh, to show up the heavy support structure for the machinery, the stamping and casting machines. Uh, in addition to that, some of the structure of the building has already been put up. So now that we've taken a look at how each of the factories looked at approximately the three month point, I'd like to see what your thoughts are. Giga Shanghai pretty much had a foundation already emerging and it was very visible at this point in time. Giga Berlin pretty much had just a level field, not much construction. However, I would point out that six months later in October of 2020, people are talking about how fast Giga Berlin is going. So just because they just had a field at that time didn't mean that they were not going fast or slow or anything. It's amazing the progress. How about Giga Texas and its progress at this point as well? Uh, taking a sand and gravel mine and getting it flat and already starting to have footers and structure showing up. So let me know in your comments and I hope that you found this useful. Let's get the drone in the air, let's go flying, and let's see how Giga Texas looks like today.
Thank you.